It's five o'clock in the village. The echoes of game day lead you to Lowell Park, home of the Katuit Cataliers. This is the entertainment for Katuit in the summertime. It's a step back in time where beach chairs dot emerald fields, where the grill serves up three dollar dogs and the seats are free. But don't let this Rockwellian view fool you. This summer game is serious business. The Cataliers are one of 10 teams in the Cape Cod League. This is the best amateur league in the world, not just in the United States. It's the best amateur baseball in the world. It's a conglomerate of all the schools in the country, 340 Division I schools. Among the storied names that rounded these bases on the way to major league careers, Nomar Garcia Para, Jason Veritek, Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk, more than 1,000 Cape League players made it to the bigs. The Cataliers boasting nearly 200, including 2018 World Series MVP Steve Pierce. With 16 league titles, they are the most successful team in Cape League history. There's a chance that maybe one day I'll play in the big leagues. It's just crazy being in the same spot that they were and just dreaming that could grow up and just be just like them. Kyle Nicholas and Orajanu, part of a 28-man team, led by coach Mike Roberts, former UNC head coach, pro player himself, an advocate for failure. You're gonna have a lot of failure up here. And the ones of you who handle failure better, probably got a better chance to go on and do well. The competition is tough. In the stands, plenty of scouts looking for the next big hit. Competition's just top of the line. Hopefully the scouts or whoever's watching like what they see, I guess. While players often have their sights on the future, Robert says this league is a place where more than talent counts. Coach, you say humility is really important. What does humility mean? Humility means getting up every morning and thinking about what I can do for somebody else first instead of thinking about what I can do for myself. That lesson begins in the dugout. How you doing, man? before every game, where winning is about the community and taking time to connect with youthful dreams. The fans are great. Oh, the fans here are great. It's, yeah. it's fun to have a bunch of people come out and watch you play. It's always exciting. Fans fiercely loyal, so much so that families take in players for the summer. Huge baseball fans. <laughs> to put it mildly. Right? Yes. <laughs> Glenn and Kathy Ware actually bought a house with extra bedrooms specifically to be a host family take care of two college students for, for the summer, you know, make sure that they're fed, they have a place to sleep, and can concentrate on their futures with baseball. The wares have been really great to both of us, and they've really taken us in. They treat us like their own kids. It's like they're out there pitching, you still feel the same nerves that the parents do. From San Diego State, number eight, Casey Schmidt. Calls of the game now by former Boston sportscaster Roy Reese. But perhaps there has been no voice more encouraging than the one that rings out when a batter's up. Have a hit! There was a gentleman standing beside the old dugout, and all of a sudden his voice would ring out, have, have a, a hit. hit, have a hit, and it became the voice of the cape. That guy was Ivan Partridge. Before his death in 2017, the organization recorded his voice, giving him a permanent place here. Here come the kettles. A simple place, but rooted in it, the beginnings of future standouts. I think it's much more important that they understand leadership opportunities here than it is baseball opportunities. The Cape Cod League is, is a place where young men have the opportunity to grow up. Yeah, and the Cape Cod League is very tough. Mm -hmm. Pete Alonzo, now of the New York Mets, played one season there, never hit a home run. And now he holds the record for the most home runs by a rookie in the majors before the All-Star break. <laughs> wow. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night at 730 again for Chronicle. Good night.